Hello everyone. Currently, approximate 5 million wolves available in every state in the US. In the states Texas, California, Arizona and Colorado reported the highest densities of coyotes, the number of coyote sightings near human habitation has increased even in cities such as Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. As their range expands, so do their problems. Coyotes are notorious for killing livestock, attacking pets and on rare occasions they even attack humanity, especially children. The financial loss from livestock farming alone is approximate over 50 million US dollars per year. Faced with the escalating coyote invasion, what actions must the US government and people take to protect human and livestock lives? If you find the video interesting, please share it so more people can know. As coyotes continue to expand across rural and suburban areas in the United States, their conflicts with humans are escalating. They are no longer limited to remote wilderness areas but are increasingly widespread suburban areas and cities far from the center. To combat this growing threat, the United States government has partnered with professional wildlife hunting organizations to implement strategic control measures. One of the most common but extremely effective weapons used by hunters is the rifle. Did you just like want them to come in and I then... Yes, this is too easy. Preferred by most professional coyote hunters bolt action and semi-automatic rifles caliber .223 Remington, .22-250 or .204 Ruger, prized for its flat trajectory and long-range accuracy. These rifles can continuously hit targets at a fast rate 200 to 400 yards. That feels a little bit better than the 204. High quality scope with magnification range 3-9x or 4-16x is standard, while tripod, shooting stick, and even night vision binoculars or thermal optics often used to enhance visibility when hunting at dusk or night, when coyotes are most active. However, locating these cunning predators is not an easy task. Hunters often use a combination trail cameras, GPS mapping tools and electronic calls to scout high activity areas. Camouflage is essential, especially in brushy areas or open plains, as coyotes have extremely keen eyesight and sense of smell. Hunting for coyotes with a rifle begins with quietly approaching a pre-selected location where coyote activity has been observed, usually early in the morning or late in the evening. Once in position, the hunter stands completely still and uses natural cover or an advantageous position to hide. The next step involves calling, either verbally or electronically, to mimic the sounds of prey or competitors, which attracts the prey closer. When a coyote approaches, the hunter must remain absolutely silent and limit movements, carefully observing the wind direction to avoid being detected. When a coyote appears, the hunter waits patiently for an accurate shot, often aiming when the animal stops or turns to the side. Crest. After shooting, the hunter remains vigilant because other coyotes may be nearby. We got a coyote down at 75 yards. About 15 yards from the call. Like it had a, yep. Safety is paramount on every hunt. 
While some seasoned hunters prefer to go it alone to be stealthy, most professionals work in pairs or small groups, especially when hunting at night or in areas where coyote hunting is active. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see him? Working as a team not only enhances safety but also allows for coordinated setups, with one caller and another location from which to shoot. Hunting in groups yes. also increases the likelihood of a successful harvest when dealing with fast-moving or suspicious animals. Man, if you can, it could have went either way, but the way that 35, 35, that's a good coyote. Oh, shoot him. Frost him. Look at this big female. Came in to about 65 yards. Last night I located this group of coyotes. Are actually, there were actually two groups that weren't that far apart and a single behind them. <laughs> Hunting coyotes with a rifle has both advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, the rifle has excellent accuracy and long-range shooting capabilities, especially in large, open terrain. They can also be equipped with high-power sights and night vision, making them suitable for round-the-clock operations. Thirty minutes. Yep. Yep. Okay.
However, challenges remain. The sound of a rifle is loud and can frighten nearby coyotes, requiring precise shooting and good skill. However, despite these limitations, rifle hunting remains one of the most effective methods in the fight against coyote aggression. In the fight against coyote encroachment, ground-based rifle hunting is now being bolstered by a more aggressive and strategic approach, helicopter hunting. Helicopters provide panoramic views of the large areas where coyotes roam. Unlike static hunting on the ground, helicopter hunting allows for fast tracking, aerial shooting, and wide area coverage. With coyotes adapting quickly to human presence, especially in states like Texas and New Mexico where human populations are most dense, the aerial approach has become an effective method for managing coyotes. Hunter's support weapons are semi-automatic rifles such as the .223 or .308 caliber AR-15, prized for their rapid fire and controllable recoil from a moving platform. Out of the AR-15, put one in the chamber. The most commonly used helicopters are light, Agile models such as the Robinson R44 or Bell 206, which have the ability to reach the shooter with open doors and exceptional maneuverability over open plains, bush, and rugged canyons. These aircraft are often equipped with additional seat belts, communication headsets, GPS navigation, and camera systems for surveillance. Each hunting team typically includes a trained pilot, one or two shooters and a spotter, all of whom must meet strict safety certifications and often undergo helicopter hunting training approved by state wildlife management agencies. Ideal locations for helicopter hunting of coyotes include large ranches, open desert terrain, or agricultural areas with heavy livestock damage, areas where coyotes operate in packs and cover vast distances.
typical hunt lasts two to four hours, with some operations killing 15 to 30 coyotes in a single outing, depending on terrain and visibility. The average cost for a private helicopter coyote hunt ranges from $2,500 to $5,000 per day, including helicopter rental, fuel, pilot fees, ammunition, and guide services. Despite the high cost, many ranchers consider it a necessary investment to protect livestock and minimize long-term economic damage caused by predator attacks. In states like Texas, where coyotes cause millions of dollars in livestock damage each year, aerial hunting can kill dozens of coyotes in just a few hours. This method disrupts the reproductive cycle and territorial dominance, causing their activity to be significantly reduced. While this is not a long-term solution, studies and rancher reports indicate that helicopter hunts can reduce coyote populations by 30 to 70 percent in high-density areas. Although helicopter hunting offers efficiency and wide coverage, it is not without its challenges. Adverse weather, demanding technical requirements, limited maneuverability in dense forest areas, and high operating costs may limit the accessibility of this method for many hunters. Really cool. However, when used in concert with on-the-ground efforts, aerial hunting stands out as one of the most impactful strategies for managing coyote invasions. In your opinion, which hunting method is more economical and effective? Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next interesting oh, yeah. content. Ah, shot.